Get some rest, Pam. You look tired. Hey everyone, my name's Austin, and this channel is all about helping you to dig deeper and go further to better understand faith, film, and everything in between. If that sounds exciting to you when you're new here, consider subscribing. The Bourne Trilogy is one of my favorite action franchises with some of the most intense hand-to-hand -hand combat sequences and white-knuckle car chases ever put to film. All of that along with a mysterious, compelling story all along the way, and these movies are about as good as it gets. And yes, we are talking about the Jason Bourne trilogy, specifically Identity, Supremacy, and Ultimatum. I know there's a spin-off that they did, Bourne Legacy. I've not seen it. I had no interest in it when it came out because Matt Damon wasn't in it and I loved the character of Jason Bourne so much. And there's also Jason Bourne that came out a few years ago. I really liked it. It got some mixed reviews, but I thought it was a good continuation of the story. In this video, though, I'm going to focus solely on the original trilogy that came out. Born Identity introduces us to Jason Bourne, a man who has lost the memory of his past as a secret government assassin. He is doing his best to figure out just what the heck is going on and regain his memories while being pursued by the organization and its assassins that he used to work for. Along the way, he meets Marie, who starts helping him put these pieces back together. At the end of the movie, he confronts the man who is the head of the organization, and we find out what events led up to where we found him at the beginning of the film. He and Marie both run off and disappear in a life together as he continues to figure out the rest of his past. When we see Jason again in Born Supremacy, he has been found by his, the organization and one of its assassins, and in an attempt to kill him, Marie is killed. At the same time this is happening, Bourne is framed for a CIA operation that goes bad in a completely different country. He is now forced to return for revenge and to clear his name. He works to track down Marie's killer, clear his own name, and expose the government assassination organization. Man, that's a mouthful. While he is doing this, he also struggles with some new memories that flash through his mind about his assassin past. In the end, he finds out more about the person he used to be and barely gets away with his life after being shot. The final movie, The Bourne Ultimatum, picks up right where Supremacy left off. Jason chooses once and for all that he's going to find out everything about his past and dismantle the assassin organization that is rising up from the ashes of the old one he was a part of. I keep going back and forth on whether Supremacy or Ultimatum is my favorite of the Bourne trilogy. I think that Supremacy might have the better story of the three because it takes Jason to some really interesting places that most action thrillers don't delve into. Now I mentioned that he struggles with a new memory in the Supremacy movie, and that memory is one that he has where he killed a man and a woman in a hotel room. Now this was back when he was an assassin, and it was actually the last mission of his training before he officially joined the organization. At the end of the movie, once he puts all these pieces together of this memory, he goes and finds the daughter of the couple that he killed, who has now grown up and apologizes for her. He tells her that no child should have to grow up thinking that their mother killed their father because that was the story that the papers told them that she thought was true. So he goes to her and humbles himself and apologizes for what he did and what he took away from her. It's a heartbreaking scene and I love that in a movie where we see Matt Damon just kicking butt and taking people out left and right, outsmarting every single person, but he also has a heart and he cares about the things he's done. He has changed from the person he used to be and he's willing to confront his past and make right the things that he feels he did wrong. I really like this theme that the movie goes into because it's similar to the Christian life. Unlike Jason Bourne, we may remember our pasts and the bad things that we do, but just like him, we can confront those things and humble ourselves to seek forgiveness for the terrible things we may have done. And we may continue to do bad things. Jason Bourne, even after he remembers his past, he may still go after these people, but we can find justice in the things we've done wrong and make those things right. 
I want to know from you, what's your favorite of the Bourne trilogy? Because you know, just like I said, I struggle to pick which one's my favorite. And what are some really cool lessons that you get out of it too? Tell me in the comments and let's get into some conversation. As always, if you're looking to dig deeper and go further to better understand faith, film, and everything in between, you're in the right place. Subscribe to my channel for a new video every Friday and I'll see you in the next video.